Agbada job chair for center. The battle line has been drawn. Among APC's ground for challenging the competence of the petition of uh, the Labour Party are that Obi was not a valid member of the Labour Party at the time of the election. <laughs> I say Agbada don't hear for Santa. Oh, good day everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel, Everyday People's Voice, a media platform where we hold leaders accountable and we will not trade the right of press freedom and free speech for a piece of cake. Thank you all for tuning in. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, please be so kind to like, subscribe, and share our videos so that the good Lord will keep blessing you because we are truth ambassadors. The APC is asking the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal to dismiss the petition filed by the Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi. Hmm. APC faulted the petition on many grounds. It also challenged the court's jurisdiction to hear the petition on the ground that it is, among others, incompetent. Among APC grounds for challenging the competence of the petition are that OB was not a valid member of the Labour Party at the time of the election. On OB's claim to being a member of the Labour Party, the APC argued that he was a member of the People's, People's Democratic Party, PDP, until May 24th, 2022, when he was screened as the party's presidential aspirant in April 2023. The APC stated that Obi participated in PDP screening exercise and was cleared to contest the presidential election as an aspirant. It added Obi purportedly resigned his membership of the PDP on the 24th May 2022 to purportedly join the Labour Party on the 27th of May 2022. The Labour Party conduct, conducted its presidential primaries on 30th May 2022, which purportedly produced OB as its candidate, which time contravened Section 73 of the Electoral Act for him to contest the primary election as a member of the Labour Party. I think when they hear which they talk, court don't start. You know, say lawyers, they hungry since. Every four, four years, now that they make their money. So all the book that they read since, they go tell you now for this court. Okay, going forward. That Peter Obi was not a member of the Labour Party at the time of his alleged sponsorship. The APC argued. The APC submitted that by the mandatory provision of Section 77 of the Electoral Act 2022, a political party shall maintain a register and shall make such register available to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, not later than 30 days before the date fixed for the party primaries, congresses, and conventions. The APC also submitted that Peter Obi resigned from his membership of the PDP on Thursday 26, May 2022 and joined the Labour Party the following day, 27th May 2022. Hmm. Ah, wow. The second petitioner hearing conducted its primary, its petition primary on the 30th May, which produced the first petitioner as the candidate it intended to sponsor in the general election. The APC said, the party further submitted that by Section 73 of the Electoral Act, the Labour Party is mandated to have submitted its comprehensive register of members to INEC 30 days before its presidential primaries. 
That is to say, the, the said register of members must have been submitted to the first respondent on or before 30th April 2022. As of 30th of April, Peter Obi was still a member of the PDP and his name was not and could not have been in the register as members submitted by Labour Party to INEC. Labour Party and Peter Obi are challenging the victory of President-elect Bola Tinubu of APC, winner of the February 25th election, on grounds of alleged non-qualification and non-compliance, among others. <laughs> Meanwhile, the chairman of the Labour Party claims that the APC, which is in power, is currently funding some Labour Party members in an effort to thwart Peter Obi and so decision within the party. The APC is fully aware that Peter Obi, the party presidential candidate, would seek to reclaim his mandates in courts. According to our sources, the chairman claimed that the opposition party is attempting to thwart Peter Obi's victory in court when he spoke to journalists during a meeting held by the three states chairman of the party. He claimed that the APC already had a plan in place to undermine the Labour Party's chances in the ongoing tribunal because they are worried he will succeed in unseating Bola Tinubu as the president-elect. Moreover, according to him, the ruling APC is sponsoring some Labour Party members to thwart Peter Obi because they are concerned that he will succeed in his legal challenge and they are aware that Obi was the legitimate winner of the February 25th presidential election. He said, APC are sponsoring Labour Party members to frustrate Obi. They are afraid that Obi will win a court, and because they know that, the court is the last hope of the common man, and seeing that we are hopeful to reclaim our mandate, they decide to come up with all these plans by sponsoring some persons to cause disaffection in the Labour Party. My country people, when I say Agbada dot tear for me, do Agbada dot tear, nowhere they go whole again. You see this part where they go on for, for this uh, tribunal, so eh? the way me understand and I say, if at the end of the day, the judiciary ready to judge this case, the way it's supposed to go, straight. Eh? Say nobody lobby them, they not collect bribe. I don't know what you want to think, oh, but what you mean they think different from what you want to feel they think. Anyway, I could reserve my own comment because me, I not be judge, I not be jury. You don't understand? But make the judiciary do their work. May they do one diligently, may they do one way. You see, also because this Nigeria way we do so, me and you know, say all of them don't they compromise already. The judiciary, the police, in fact, many institutions don't they compromise already. Well, when we leave the matter for here, courts they go on. We could hear the matter as they go on for court. Our comment session they open. We could have took math put for this matter where they go on so. Now yes, so because if only be the talk, it go be like saying I made the talk am. We could have see talk make people see here from one or two. I go see you on for my next video. Thank you and bye bye.